Hello everyone, I'm Dragons After Dark, and today we're going to talk about the absurdly expensive Lil Flamio. If you thought Burgle was bad, wait until you get a load of this little dreadlord. That said, let's get into why. Lil Flamio is connected to a promotion between World of Warcraft and SteelSeries for WoW's 20th anniversary where SteelSeries offers various types of gaming gear. In particular, Little Flamio is the free in-game item that comes with the purchase of the Aerox 9 wireless mouse, which will set you back $159.99 USD. No, I did not accidentally add a 1 to the front of that. You heard that correctly, $159.99. I won't lie, the first time I saw the price and the fact that a pet was connected to something this expensive, I couldn't help but laugh. Now, all three of the SteelSeries in-game items have their own situational issues with being made available in this way. I would say the Grinning Reaver mount is probably the one that was the least awful in the fact that it's a discontinued shop mount. The Savage Ebony Battle Turtle is slightly worse because this particular skin is only available through the promo while two other skins, green and blue, were available through the trading post and will be available again at some point. However, as I've said before, unlike mounts, pets are part of a battle system in the game. When you make pets with unique movesets, sometimes moves as well, and put them behind a paywall, it's just awful. I feel the same way about shop pets in general. Lil Flamio is somewhat in the same boat as the turtle mount. The closest pet we had available to us that matches Flamio is Lil Mags. I say had because it was a very temporary shop pet that was removed from the shop on 31 October 2023. It was stated it would be in a future rotation of the trading post, but we haven't seen him again as of yet. There is another pet in the files, Lil Manny, but we don't currently know what the source is for him, and from what we can see of his stats, he's not as powerful as Flamio or Mags. As for availability, I don't think the purchase of the mouse for Lil Flamio is limited to any particular countries. I'm also not sure how long the promo will last, or if it's just until they run out of the item, but it does say limited edition, so I'm assuming it will be unavailable at some point. Now let's get down to brass tacks, shall we? I think I made my opinion clear in the Burgle video about bonus or free in-game items with the purchase of something else. When it comes to World of Warcraft, I would say the collecting community is probably one of the lowest churn sections of the player base. I'm also sure Blizzard is well aware of this. They know exactly what they're doing when they place a free in-game item like a pet behind a purchase of an IRL item. For likely a fair number of people, this isn't a case of a $159.99 mouse with a free in-game pet. It's a $159.99 pet that comes with a mouse they may or may not use. Now, as far as battling goes, Lil Mags, not currently available, and Lil Manny, unknown, are the two closest pets to Lil Flamio's moveset. They all have the unique ability, Hubris, which functions like Reckless Strike, except that Hubris is a magic ability instead of flying, so that can be a big difference. The closest you can get to this with a magic pet available in-game is Moir, with Reckless Strike, but again, the family of the abilities are completely different. We did recently get another magic pet with Cleave, and then you realize it was one of the uncageable, limited-time pre-patch event pets, the Remembered Construct. So, there are no magic pets currently available to collect in-game with Cleave. Immolation, on the other hand, is available on a few magic pets that are available in-game, with at least one, Gerald, having a comparable power stat. If you're looking for other magic pets with Consume, you'll need to do the Time Rift event in Dragonflight for Doom Rubble or in Ruby, both of which come roughly 30 power shy of Lil Flamio's power stat. 
Blast of Hatred seems to be a favorite for promo pets, featuring on Hate Spark the Tiny, Merc Diablo, Belial, and Mini Diablo. However, you can find this ability on a couple of magic pets in-game, though they aren't comparable in terms of power to Little Flamio. As for Chaos Nova on a magic pet, your only current option is the Corrupted Tentacle from BFA. Now, I went through all those super nerdy examples to highlight how difficult it would be to replicate Lil Flamio on any pets you can currently find in-game. As such, aside from the horrific price point of this pet, it's even worse than Burgle in this regard because at least they can be replicated in the game. Now, I can 100% acknowledge that this aspect of Lil Flamio isn't going to matter to most players. However, I'm talking about it because it does matter to someone like me who makes strategies and tries my best to make sure they have a 100% win rate. This might not have mattered in pre-Legion pet battles, but once they introduced family-based achievements in the game combined with enemy pet power creep, it does matter. The right pet with the right moves can make the difference between someone having to run the fight 10 plus times to win and winning every time. What sucks for me is finding that perfect pet only to tell people it's from a promo that happened before they were born or in this case costs an obscene amount of money. In my opinion that no one asked for, pets like Lil Flamio should either be companion only, as in they don't battle, or they need to have some kind of mirror pet, with the same exact moveset and stats, but in a different skin or on a different model completely. Anyway, that's gonna be it for me today, but what do you think? Should Blizzard make these pets non-combat or make some kind of mirror pet? If you bought the mouse, was it just for the pet? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you for stopping by and happy battling.